Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Agra TSZ. This is a new mod map by Zoli708. It's 103.2 megabytes to download. <laughs> it's another one. Um, let's say it's, it's an interesting one. Uh, let's check the map first, like we usually do. I am on New Farmer. I'm on Normal Economy. This is the map. Square fields, north, south, east, west. So for those people that like that, um, I say for hiring workers, we always know that workers don't always necessarily work. We have a few sell points. What do we start with on New Farmer? Well, we start with this main shop area which is actually where our farm is, which is actually where the sleep trigger is. These are the fields we well, say fields. We've got meadows and we've got fields. We've got field two. We own the sheep pen and we've got this field here, but these are all in separate chunks. 164,000, 51 for the sheep, 124 for that. And then the main sort of workshop farm area is 98,784. We'll have a look around that in a minute. We do have in place on the map as well, a pig farm, and a cow farm again both very very cheap to buy 25,848 for the pigs and 43,200 for the cows we'll get around to those in a bit the periphery of the map is this bit here which costs you nothing you can buy that if you want to but we do have these little patches around the map you can buy the main forest area now there is woodland all the way around the map but it's all those kind of gnarly twisty type trees um, most of which you can't cut particularly easily, even with using the T-Rex or something like that. But the main forest is along the southern part of the map. We will get to at a later point. Uh, looking at my sheet, it is seasons ready. It doesn't say whether it is precision farming ready. And by that, I mean it doesn't say if it's got a custom soil map or not. Any map is precision farming ready. It just defaults back to the giant's standard soil map so when i say is it precision farming ready i mean that does it have a custom soil map it doesn't say if it does or not so i'm not entirely certain on that um field prices vary field eight there is 176,640. we got to field 17 at 1 million 429 the smaller fields are still fairly pricey but then that said they're not that small biogas plant needs to be purchased that will set you back a whopping of 43,512 uh what else the sleep trigger is fixed in place cannot be sold cannot be moved and as i've already said the live the livestock that's on the map already is in fixed is fixed in place but you can add to that now it also doesn't say whether it is compatible with the factory's mod the factory's placeables so from that i would say it probably isn't as we move forward into the main yard um there are no custom crops available on this map and there are no additional mods that the map maker has put in it doesn't say on there whether there are there are any required mods either so we shouldn't need to bring anything else in contracts are available and this is where we come into the main yard we do have a water tower where we can buy water from i think that's a fuel point as far as i can tell uh, our vehicles and machinery are scattered around in various different locations. I will talk about slot count in a moment and when the vehicles and machinery we start with. But here at the main yard, we do also start with a seed and fertiliser refill point, which is always good to know. As you can see, various different bits of equipment and machinery dotted around. We have got the workshop from Sosnovka, as far as I can tell. Now that's where you trigger it but this entire trench along here um, I bought in a vehicle from this end and put it here and it still works so the trigger kind of runs right the way down and the sleep trigger is in here hang on a minute I'm on top of it now where's the sleep trigger gone I've lost it oh there we go on the sofa <laughs> that's where you end up sleeping but like i say that is built in so you can't 
unfortunately decide whereabouts you want your sleep trigger to be. The reset point is also here, which on this particular map doesn't make any difference. Um, often the, the reset points can be at the main farm, can be at this main store. More often than not now, the reset point is back at the main store simply because you can place your farm wherever you want these days with triggers and that, you know placeable triggers and that kind of thing. So having it a reset point at one particular farm, I guess, doesn't work like it used to, really. Um, we've got some more barn and building space down here. Uh, other noticeable absence is we don't start with a silo. Um, but this is pretty flat, pretty open. You could I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to place one. We do have some racking with some equipment for... We do start with a telehandler as well, which is quite unusual. Don't often start with telehandlers on different maps. So that is the main yard. While I'm heading back up to grab a vehicle, on New Farmer, this uses 410 out of 1,299 slots. On Farm Manager, and start from scratch, also 410. The difference on those two being, you start with different amounts of money, and you don't start with any land. Obviously on um, New Farmer, you do. Now, on all three um, modes, you do start with all of the vehicles. So if you get rid of all those vehicles, if you want to do a true start from scratch or a farm manager, or even on a new farmer, if you come on now and think, well, I want to have a bit of land, but I want to have my own vehicles. If you sell all of those vehicles, you can get the slot count down to 234, which is pretty low. And quite handy, I think. What we'll do, let's grab the case. I'm going to drop off the weight, because I don't know if I necessarily need to take the weight with me. The texture palette seems very nice. It, you know, the colour palette is okay. The lighting seems good. I think one thing people may say as we go around, there are a lot of trees. Now, I would argue that you could have, or you could have probably removed half the amount of trees on this map and maybe got the slot count even lower. Because as you go around, there are a lot of trees. But at the end of the day, how a map is set up is, is the map maker's choice. If this is the aesthetic and the look the map maker's going for, then this is how it looks. Now, obviously, if you're using the T-Rex and various different things, you can go around, you can re remove whatever you want. You can landscape, you can change things. That's kind of the beauty of FS19. We do start off with that meadow to the right on New Farmer. As we come up, what I like is although the animals are integrated into the map and you can't sell them they are fully integrated in so much as it's not just a plonked down here you go here's a sheep pen you know and it's a generic sheep pen but you can't remove it these are kind of bespoke to the map um one thing uh, one thing another thing i've noticed is there are no uh, cattle grids there's no gate gates uh fences cattle grids to stop your animals wandering which is interesting. So this is the sheep pen. Your trigger here for your sheep, buying, selling, loading or unloading, is just here in the gateway as you come in. Uh, this will hold 160 sheep. We do have our feed trigger this side, water trigger this side, and the wall pallet spawn on this trailer. Depends what thumbnail I use. Might be the one that's got that. Um, they spawn on this trailer here, slightly rusted trailer. These bales, as we go around the animal pens, I thought immediately, oh, that's cool, you start with bales. Um, I brought the telehandler up with the spikes on. They are, although they are movable, you can knock them over. You can't actually pierce them, so you can't pick them up and you can't actually use them. There's quite a few of these knocking around. Far more at the, um, I think at the pig farm, there's loads of them. So, continuing on. Um, the road layout is is interesting. I'll, I'll show you on the map. As we zoom out, it's like one of those, you know, the pencil maze. You know, you get like a maze on a quiz sheet or something like that, you know, and you have to go from the outside all the way into the middle or from the middle all the way out. It's like one of those. <laughs> because as I drove around trying to work out a route to do, the, the routes don't follow in in that you kind of do parts and you end up somewhere and think, hang on a minute, how do I get to this point or from this point? It's a very kind of 
it doesn't all join up is what I'm trying to say. Um, if we turn it up here, we can go all up there, across and down to the biogas plant. That road leads to there, but then stops there. So if you want to get to the biogas plant, you actually have to come around through this farm and up and round and down. To get to this farm, we have to do a route all the way around. It's, I mean, at the end of the day as well, with uh, landscaping, you can, of course, um, landscape in your own roads if you buy the bits of the map. You know what I am going to do? I'm going to do the biogas plant now because just saying that, the route round will take quite a while and the biogas plant is just here. But like I say, you do, there is a route that goes around. Now, weirdly, this is um, Agra TS set and I got the impression it's... Oh, I don't know now. It doesn't say where it is. TS said... I'm getting a real kind of almost Australian vibe. To, I, I don't know why. Kind of wide open spaces with the trees everywhere. But the fact that in a lot of these areas, like the, uh, the animal livestock areas, are verily, ver verily, very heavily, not wooded, but almost like there's loads of shade put in because that's where people are. And, and that's a kind of little oasis in away from the heat. I don't know why I'm getting that vibe. Strange, isn't it? Anyway, this is the biogas plant. Two bunker silos. As we've already seen, 43,512 to buy. It will, it's a regular bunker silo, a, a regular biogas plant, in that it will take your silage, it will take um, hay and straw. It will do silage, uh, silage, slurry and manure but it doesn't do potatoes sugar beet wood chips sugar nothing like that it's just a regular one digestate is got retrieved from here your byproduct and that's where you put into your digesters just here and as i showed the road comes up the side across the top and back in through here but that's your biogas plant it does have a very nice feel to it and as i said at the start it's interesting in that it's an otherwise ones where it's kind of a game of two halves kind of in that like this is i love this i think it's such a lovely look and again that kind of shaded area over where the animal pens are the problem is when we get out towards the edge of the map the map edge isn't as pretty uh you'll see when we get there it's a, it's a bit strange like I said, you'll see when we get there. Um, trying to think what else is there that I need to point out. No silo, no yeah, periphery. We've looked at that. We talked about the map edge. We'll get to that in a minute. So, as you come along this road, we'll end up at the pigs, which are just here. This isn't too expensive to buy, but you can still get them. The trigger is just here. This gate does open and close, but to buy it, it's not too expensive. This will hold a hundred pigs. We do have our water trough and our feed trough here. I'm assuming that straw for bedding for the pigs is either going to be along here in the middle or over here where all of this is. This is what I mean. There's loads of these bales. But rather than be the kind of fixed in place ones you often get on maps, they're there as an aesthetic. These, like I say, they are movable but not usable, which is something a bit different. Um, as far as where manure appears, this and the cows is a little bit, I'm not entirely certain. I know that the slurry, we've got this rusted slurry tank just over here with the usual little slurry connector. That's where your slurry is going to come from. I mean, it's going to be here, isn't it? It's, you know, it's going to be somewhere within this pen. There's not a separate manure pit for it. So it's going to be in there, isn't it? I know that's not particularly helpful, but... If it was miles away, I could understand. Now, what we're going to do is, again, following the road. The road's kind of... That's as far as it goes this way. We're going to head south now, down to the cows. And we're going to wind our route out, out of the maze. <laughs> to get to uh, the cell points, which are kind of further out around the edges of the map as well. Some of the bits of driving I will skip, 
because there are long bit long bits of driving I don't know if it's been done to make the map feel bigger and I've said that on map tools before um, sometimes a small map feels very big because of the way the road is laid out that turning we just went past there takes you back to the main farm just the bottom part of the main farm and then weirdly other maps that are bigger because of the way the roads laid out and you go around it feels small I know that sounds a peculiar thing to say but it I you know it is true so cows again there's no there's no cattle grid there's no way of stopping them <laughs> we do have this bit of grass area here as we come through to the gateway which is just here that's your trigger for buying selling loading or unloading this will take 80 cows the milk point is there water trough is just to the side there which is interesting when you have I've always thought that when you get maps especially like you know you've got a big pond or something and you think well even if you had to refill that a little bit I don't know regardless it's you know um, where's the oh it's further out isn't it there's a slurry point rusted tank over there we'll get to that on the way back out feed trough is along here and bedding for the cows it's a kind of educated guess I'm going to say it's over here again loads and loads of bales but where the manure comes I mean it could be the manure comes here as well assuming of course you get manure I don't see any reason why you wouldn't get manure I suppose it doesn't hurt to just double check that a second let's just buy a cow it does say manure slurry and milk it's again it's got to be in here somewhere I mean, you would think the obvious place is going to be over there where the straw goes. So, uh, rusted container here. Again, that's your slurry. And then we have got a bunker silo just over here. If I open up my help menu. So we've got a bunker silo here with tyres for making silage towards total mix ration. Again, it's nice and flat so you can add more buildings and stuff. I, I'm, I'm saying you can there is that situation that I find uh, often people will say I tried to place blah 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 on such and such a map on such and such a field and it wouldn't work the problem is on a map tour I've said this before I'm just showing you the map the features um, unfortunately I can't show you everything and I can't test every field with every mod with it you know to see whether everything will place I would like to think that because it's incredibly flat there are some kind of undulations, there are a few here and there, but for the most part, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to place things. As long as you own the land, I don't see any reason why not. That's not to say there's not a, a mesh underneath this top layer that will prevent it. You know, unfortunately, if there is, that would be a bit of a pain. Um, right, we've got a bit of a drive now. I'll show you where we are when we get there. And I'll show you the route we took. I wanted you to kind of get a feel for the map and the scenery. As you can see, I, I said this earlier on, people may not be as over enamoured with the amount of trees lining roadways. And I know a lot of people don't like it when it gets very shadowy and shady, but it's actually not too bad when you come under the trees. Some maps we've been on where you go into the under trees, it's very, very dark. This, that's not too bad. We are now heading towards one of the first, yeah, one of the first, the main cell points. And this is one of two sawmills. Again, wooded or tree lined, let's say tree lined, it's not forested, wooded. Um, if we check the map. So, we came from here originally up to the sheep did the biogas plant pigs down to the cows then we come out here i've come all the way up here across here up there up there up there across here we're now here at agra farm now interestingly the the sawmill cell point and it is a sawmill isn't showing 
but there is a point there for lumber and the marker so it's not showing as a separate cell point but there is a marker there for lumber and the agra cell point is just here if we check in on the actual cell point agra farm at the top is a main cell point takes pretty much everything and is one of the three main cell points plenty of building space as well so if you wanted to store vehicles and machinery here as a sawmill it is quite a long way from the main lumber source so it'd be quite a drive to get here but it is the cell point or one of the cell points just here we're going to head from here west so out the top of this cell point out onto this track heading west to the edge and this is where we're going to see the map edge in a bit more detail now um okay i don't i don't want to my voice says before i don't want to i don't like to knock modders i don't like to knock map makers because the effort that goes into making these is something i don't do i haven't done and it takes a long time and it is difficult but i know when i do well I know when I do uh, map tours, things like that are what people pick up on. You know, they'll say straight away, oh, you know, I didn't like this about it, I didn't like that. And that's fair, everyone's entitled to an opinion when they look at stuff. It's more one of the more unusual ones I think I've come across. So we come straight onto this cell point here. We do have another lumber cell point just here. Put your stuff onto those logs. That's a cell point for lumber as well. We've then got three cell points, I think it is here. So we come from Agra Farm out to here. Well, two cell points. We've got the main uh, animal dealer, and then we've got Senki, Botond and Companions, and the sale station. So, livestock dealer is just here for buying, selling, loading, or unloading. Then the Senki cell point is here, and this one just here. Is the sale one now there's not a dedicated dairy or spinnery on this map and if we look at the sale points here for Suzenki Botond and Companions is a main sale point the sale station if we go along is the main one that takes pretty much everything else it does your cotton your eggs your wool your milk your wood chips and it's also like a bale barn cell point as well it will do silage hay straw and grass um i assume in bale form it will probably take loose as well so that kind of is a when it's a sales station it's a kind of cover all the rest of the eventualities i guess um, and that's all located here now this is the map edge and it's the same all the way around it just kind of goes Boom. it's like the entire map has been built inside a quarry um but interestingly this is all part of the periphery if i go up here we get this sort of grass stepped area there's another one up here and you can with a little bit of effort get up there and the map edge goes just beyond those trees weirdly when i saw this and i thought i came out i thought oh that's interesting i'll check on the map so if we go to the map this is where i am this is part of the periphery which i can buy for nothing so what i did was a little test and i bought a little plot like that and i was actually able to landscape it between the trees i smoothed this out down to the bottom i know it sounds really weird <laughs> and because this was free and i gave myself a ramp up to here you can actually mow this <laughs> this is usable grass that kind of runs right the way around the outside like i say it's, it's an unusual map edge that that's the thing it's not going to be to everyone's liking i know it's not it's that's just the way it is you know but it's there you can't hide from it i can't you know i say i can't do a map tour and say oh no ignore the map edge it's right there you know and it is kind of hidden a little bit with all the trees another reason why i said if you go to the other the eastern map edge it's kind of a double lined two or three four trees deep but a lot of my trees that you can't cut down conventionally so what we're going to do now is head south down the western side of the map to the next cell point and then we're going to go down and have a look at the forest area 
which is where you can do most of your logging if you want to do logging and wood chipping. We do have this area here to the right, which isn't a cell point or anything like that. We've got some rundown buildings and stuff tucked away in the trees. Maybe an old mining camp or, you know, it can be whatever you want it to be. And then we've got the mill coming up. Which is the next of our cell points. Again, lots of silos and building parts and stuff to this before we actually get to the cell point, which is just there. So, we've come from these cell points, just down here, past this section, down to the mill here. The mill is the third one, and again, it's one of your main cell points. This one doesn't take potatoes or sugar beet, but it takes your other cereal crop types, because it's a mill. We've got another bit of a drive ahead of us. <clears throat> there are some unusual features in that on the map edge here you've got like that windmill just sat I think it's because it's not kind of landscaped in because it's not kind of blended in so much as it's not smoothed out like a sliding hillside or I suppose it just looks quite stark it's like boom the sudden slab side next to you I guess that's, pretty, that's how my mind looks anyway We want to take this one, I think. Yeah. So we are now coming down to the forest. There's plenty of logging to do if you want to do it. You could add more cell points in. You know, again, it's one of those maps because it's quite flat, it's quite open. I, fingers crossed, would like to think that placing things shouldn't be too difficult. So this is another one that you can almost treat this as almost like a, a starter map in that you can add to it more if you want to. You don't have to, but you can add to it. You could dot more cell points around, maybe do a bit of landscaping around fields and add some more roads and tracks in it. You know, if you like the maze runner thing, then, you know, go with that. So we've just crossed over that little river area and we're into the pine forest We've got a couple of little tracks here and there, there's a little island just over to the side. And that is the map. That's Agra TSZ by Zoli708. We come back onto the main map. We've come down, cross here, and we're now on the southern part of the map. This is all forestry. This can be bought in sections. You don't have to buy it all in one big mass. So you can start with a very small section and work your way up we can get back to the main farm well I say again it's weird we can cross back over here let's turn that off and this track runs along but weirdly there's no track that links between there and there which again you could put one in or just drive across the field but you know it would kind of link it all up nicely I guess um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have even if you haven't give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching